hands, you walk up to the stick and bend backwards, easily shuffling under it. That's right, we are flexible like a pretzel, boys. The party must end. Thank goodness, y'all. I am so ready to get out of Cast Up More. I am tired of Cast Up More. Cast Up More is tired. I feel like we've been on the Cast Up More arc forever. I want to get back to the regular Love Island villa. I want Gary and Bobby and Abraham. You know, I want the gang back. And yes, I left out Noah on purpose. <laughs> but hopefully we're almost done. I think we have the, this is the end of this date. And then I think there's one more date and we return. So we're going to see how this party ends. You know, it's going to be probably drama filled because the boys are going to be begging for us to take them back. So we're going to see if we, you know, we throw them a bone or not. So I hope you guys are excited. Do not forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's start the drama. All right, ladies, it's time to determine who won this afternoon's challenge. Yes, in the last time we left off, we were supposed to kiss all the boys. It was a little challenge we did, I guess, to get back at the boys at the other villa. I don't really know where this correlates, but yeah. I got everyone but Carl. I barely saw him all afternoon. Yeah, I have, like, totally no idea where he was at all. That's weird, but whatever. All right, calm down. Now, we know the only girl here who didn't take part was Hope. Sorry, I didn't want to be a killjoy. I just wasn't up for it. It's fine, babe. It was just a bit of fun. And the winner is Priya. Yeah, because we forgot to kiss Elijah. But wait, shouldn't it be a tie? Or did I forgot to do someone else? I might have forgotten another person. I don't really remember. But uh, how do you know someone else didn't beat her? That's what I thought. What kind of judge would I be if I didn't keep an eye on the contestants? I saw her work her magic on the boys. This is yours, babe. <laughs> she needs the black rose pen to Priya. Aw, thanks, babe. I'll make it look fierce. The girls shuffle off to areas of the dressing room. How much effort do you think the guys are going to be putting in this evening? I'm expecting a lot. They, I'm, I'm tired of it. They better or I won't be pleased. You're egging them on, Chelsea. This is why they keep being extra. I'm sure they will. They're all so extra. Even Marisol agrees. Yeah. I know like extra is our MO, but these boys, oh. even Carl is in his own way. In that smart but kind of awkward way. I can't wait to see how hot they look tonight. I bet Gary wouldn't be able to match them. Mmm, someone salty. You catch a glimpse of Lottie rolling her eyes. Well, I'm going all out tonight. Who's with me? Do we do we have to? Chelsea, Marisol, and Lottie cheer. I'm good. Like, I'm good. But this silver outfit, it stays key. But which, what other ones do we own? Let's see here. Oh, that's a cute one. Well, now that I look at it, it's, I mean, it's revealing. You know, it's popping. We can go real cougar right here. Tired. Very tired. Very, very tired. That's... You know, weirdly, normally I think this is ugly, but I kind of like it. So let's just go with it. Oh, that's cute. Um, actually, a lot of these outfits are really cute. But we're going to go with our good old silver one. I am not bad about seeing this look again. I hope you wouldn't be, Chelsea, considering we only see you in this look. So the outfit is top shelf, Tatella. Thank you, Chelsea. Thanks, babe. All right, girls. Last one out there is a rotten tomato. Uh, pretty sure it's a rotten egg. <laughs> That's rank, babe. <laughs> but it's the phrase. Who cares? Let's go see the boys. And here we see a wild herd of Casarius Amorius. <laughs> Part of the horniest, seductivest, latest group. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they're doing out here. They are all freshly groomed, sporting their finest summer plumage. We're about to witness their keen meeting and scene to work. Ahoy there, ladies. You're all looking fit tonight. They look fit every night. I wonder who's going to be coming home and who's not. Drama. I say they're more stunning tonight. You always look amazing in that outfit. That's hella thank you. Thanks, Sabrune. Isn't it lovely out here? Look at these decorations. How can you notice the decorations and not these fine women in front of us? But it's all part of making them look so lovely, don't you get? Not me. If you wouldn't understand, Felix. You don't understand a lot of things. Because Sam smiles and nods his head in your direction. What a greeting. Why are you looking at us? Because Sam, go look at Lottie. We don't like your ass. Hey, boys. Uh, the boys are playing all the stops. This is a bit much. <laughs> Just be, like, completely mean. You're all so handsome. We'll be nice to good old cute Carl over here. Yeah, we can really pull it out of the bag when we want to. Well, a few of you can. The others, not so much. Look, girls, before the night gets too busy, I thought I'd say... 
Me and the lads have been talking, and well, we'd have liked to have this painted on a banner, but... He looks over at Felix. Someone dropped it in the pool earlier. Shocking. As Felix normally does, oh, his little face he does. Anyway, all of you are so cracking, so... As you girls are the best, you deserve the best. We don't jest. Anyway, you know what? This is why I like Graham. <laughs> he nods and all the boys stay together. Bring us back to the villa and let's be the best together. Okay, so they're trying to pull up the stops. They really want us. They do, you know, we're gonna we're gonna look at each one of them over and be like, mm -hmm, we'll see. The guys around him try to do jazz things except for Cassandra, who stands with his arms crossed. Carl nearly slaps her in the face. There's silence. It would have been so much better on a banner. I loved it. I can see it written on a wall in here. Or a cushion. <laughs> Even better. Uh, the guys made up a slogan, jazz, jazz hands. You know what, though? It was sweet. They're really pulling out the stops. That was cute. We're not going to deny it. Glad you liked it, even without the banner. If that was the start of the night, I want to see the rest of it. I wish Marisol wasn't all about Graham. I'd pick him. It's time to get this party started. The Islanders make their way to a table covered with glasses full of champagne and oranges. All right, girlies, get some drinks in you and the boys so we can get some messiness started. To another night in paradise, that's one way to put it. <laughs> Everyone echoes the toast. I know it's only been a few days, but I really am having a great time here. I just hope the fun times can continue. Don't we all, mate? This reminds me of an event I went to once. Oh? Yeah, it was this lush gala thing for some artists held at one of the galleries I got prints from. Why is our girl so shook at this story, like, girl? It was really posh. They had, like, I don't know, all little crackers and stuff. I remember trying to this guy, long mustache, old but really fit. Anyway, I said I didn't get any of this art. I said it was all a load of weird rubbish and the artist is probably a total bore. It's gonna be him. Well, the old man looked me in the eye and said, Actually, darling, I'm the artist. Chelsea, that is so funny. It wasn't at the time. What happened next? Drew, I want to know what happened. He got all huffy, then stormed off and locked himself in the toilets with a plate of tiny sandwiches. <laughs> he was still in there when I left. Fragile ego much. Everybody loves. I thought he was gonna like take it in stride and be like, ha ha ha, like nudge nudge. And no, he went and cried. It's fine. Hope wanders over to you and crawl quickly follows. Hey, Hope. I just want to let you know that I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I just meant that we had your back, but I can understand why it upset you. That was the most extra fight. Hope looks at him and smiles. It's okay, hon. I may have overreacted a little. I was a little bit touchy at the moment, you know. Of course. Anyway, friends. Friends. Great. Here, let me go and get you another drink. He takes her glass and makes his way back to the champagne. Hope forgave Carl for earlier. That was nice of you to do, babe. Will be nice. Thanks, hon. I shouldn't have snapped at him earlier. He was just trying to be nice. Yeah. Yeah, Carl is such a sweetheart. He spent a while chatting, drinking, dancing, soaking in the relaxed atmosphere. If we take one of the boys home, big if, I'm going to take Carl back. I think Carl deserves a chance, you know? At one point, Felix attempts to shove his back, whips, he lands on his front. Ugh. That's the first time I messed it up, I swear. I'm hoping he gets left behind. Please, someone leave him behind. I just gotta be honest, it's just not it. Graham leans somewhere on Marisol, she's leaning her head against it. We know Graham's going back. Graham and Marisol are getting so close. Ooh, we can be all shitty, they're not gonna last. I hope I find someone like that will be nice. We'll, we'll just something like that. They just seem to gel so well. Lottie interrupts your train of thought, talking loudly to Felix. I'm serious, babe. If I could, I'd buy a castle. Why do people think I'm joking when I say that? Everyone appears with a long stick. I'm an interesting way to put it. Found this at the front. Who's up for some limbo? Uh, do I want to try limbo? Honestly, watch me nail this. We're gonna backflip real quick. Or not backflip, backbend. You walk up to the stick and bend backwards, easily shuffling under it. That's right, we are flexible like a pretzel. Boys, Carl, Felix, and Priya do the same. Too easy. All right, time to up the difficulty. He lowers the stick with every pass. Carl goes out first and Priya, leaving just you and Felix. Oh, no, 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 we're not losing. Come on, baby, you can be Felix. I swear, you've been backwards, it's a strain, but you just make it under the stick. I did it. If this flop, Felix comes in behind you as he's under the stick, his knees begin to wobble, fall, fall, fall. Arun lowers a stick, lightly smacking Felix's belly. Yay! He topples down. Hey, not fair. You were gonna fall anyway. Tatella wins. 
as it should. The others cheer and applaud. Priya looks disgruntled. After a minute, Carl approaches. You missed Priya's not having us. Mm-mm, Priya, we won. Hey, thought to like, let me go for a quick chat. The two of you head away from the others. All right, what do you want to know, boy? We got some private time. Carl leads you to the quiet area with a secluded hanging bed. He looks down at it. I knew you liked it the first time round, babe. Oh, 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 okay. So I thought I'd bring you here again. Also, there's not really anywhere else here that's got any privacy. Oh my gosh, Carl. You look great tonight, by the way. Although I imagine you could look stunning no matter what. You're so glamorous. She is, isn't she? That's just one of the reasons I like you. Okay, he's just making small talk. So, going for a kiss. Just, you know what? We're going to be extra and we're going to be forward. Boom. It's rare to be alone and cast no more. Have a little fun moment. You move in before Carl can say any more. His eyes go wide as you approach him. He smiles awkwardly and leans towards you. See our little techie? We're getting it. He cups your face and brings it towards his cranial electricity between us. Your lips meet and you share a long, drawn-out kiss. Good for them. After you both pull away, he rests his forehead against yours, letting out a deep breath. I'm really enjoying these moments. I didn't think I'd enjoy anything as much as data collection. Ah, well, I feel honored. Carl gazes into your eyes. Tatala, you make me really happy. You make me, can't say I blame you. <laughs> like, just saying. And now I'm gonna say you make me happy too. We're gonna be sweet. Carl's grin widens. That makes me even happier. I should plot to us if we don't take him back. We're like, I'm sorry, that was sweet. Bye bye. Carl looks thoughtful. I know that look. You're thinking about science. You know me so well. I was just thinking about how we all experience things differently. The way I felt during our kiss may not be the same as how you felt. So how can I ever really know if you're getting the same out of it? I mean, did you enjoy it as much as I did? Oh, he's really going on for questions. You think too much. Just kiss me again. Carl smiles and leans in towards you. Plays, okay, we going at it. He mur- oh, he's murmuring with pleasure, I'm sure. Does that answer your question? I completely forgot the question, I'm sure. I could get used to this. Well, you better hope so, because it, it all rests on us. Yeah, me too. You're one of the best kisses I've ever known. He looks around at the bed. Here, join me. Babe. <laughs> the babe talk again. He sits on the bed and smooths out a spot next to him. Um, jump onto the bed. We'll sit next to Carl. We're going to be nice. You move across and sit next to Carl. He smiles at you. Carl looks at the ground, then at the bushes. He eventually settles on your face. I like to talk to you. This isn't me trying to figure out where your head is at, though. There is more... This is more me telling you where mine is. Okay, when I first arrived here, all I cared about was my chance to get into the main villa. I was prepared to crack on with whoever liked me. Oh, she looks mad. She's not having none of this conversation, whether I like them back or not. And Graham gave all the lads a speech when he first turned up. He starts pretending that he's Graham. All right, Kurt, this is it. We're going to show these girls are better than their villa boys. Play the field. Don't tie yourself down on one woman. Find the one who will take you back. He smiles. Then Marisol came in and completely turned his head. Oh, they really were out here, you know recently being like oh we're not like the other boys back at the other villa yeah apparently the conversation pre-walking in was a bit different than what we thought but then you turned up and melted me and i'm so lucky that we got together on the first day i know ruin tried to get to you to go with him i don't know what i'd be doing now if you hadn't turned him down true how should i respond that is so you only see us as a way into the villa Go off. I mean, honestly, though, but we'll be nice. That's so sweet of you. We'll get some points. Thanks. I'm just telling you the truth, though. I hope because let me tell you, Carl, if you aren't, we will end you. My words are getting all messed up. What I'm trying to say is that I really like you. I don't care what the rest of the summer has to offer. I just want to spend it with you. I have loved getting to know you and think we could be a great couple both in here and out there. What I'm asking is... When the time comes to pick whether or not you're taking me back to the villa, what will you say? I'm sorry, babe, but no. I'm not sure yet, babe. I take you back in a heartbeat. Out of all the boys, yes, we would. So we'll be honest. You have no idea how much of a relief that is to hear. <laughs> when to start drama just to like, no. <clears throat> We're going to be an amazing couple. <laughs> what are you going to do about Henrik? Henrik was never even a question. We don't do Henrik. We're not that close. He, uh, he won't mind. Really, that's not how it seemed, but it, 
that's not how it seemed. We barely gave the boy time a day. He looks down at his glass. I could do with the refill. We all could. How about a kiss before we head back? <laughs> Burst out laughing, just like laugh and point at him now. Kiss him. The two of you leaning closer. Carl gently pulls you in for the kiss. You stroke his thigh and while I feel it twitch with excitement, are we sure we're talking about his thigh? Carl laughs. Ah, uh, no. Are you? Oh, are you ticklish? No, you are. Where's she gonna tickle? Uh-oh, I hope they're not gonna booze this knowledge, girl. You gonna... She gonna be... Oh, Carl is ticklish. We're gonna be kind and de- laugh like an evil genius, just for fun. You wind your shoulders back and let out mockingly throw your arms in the air. Mwah ha 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 Oh no. This doesn't inspire much confidence. Be warned if you do tickle me, I'll be forced to think of some way to get you back. Why would you have to get me back? <laughs> well, first off, I'd have to defend my honor and the honor of my family name. But really, it would just be for revenge. You shouldn't have revealed your plan so soon then. You'll have to catch me first. Oh, Carl quickly pulls you close and prods at your sides as you watch smugly. Oh, we're not ticklish. Good for her. You're not ticklish, are you? Nope. I'll add that to the data I've been collecting on you. Our, like, little, like, floppy disk he's gonna make. This really is turning out to be a great evening. Let's make our way back to the party. Uh, let's see what everyone else is going at the party. Since as you and Carl approach the party, Marisol comes up to you. Hey, babe. Can we have a chat? Why? She looks to Carl. I'll leave you two to it. I'll see you back with the others. He walks off. What's up, babe? So I was just looking for a pair of flip-flops that I left out earlier, and I heard your chat with Carl. I know you said you'd take him back to the villa, but I think there's a way I can help with that decision. What? Oh? Yeah, I'm good at reading between the lines of what people are saying and what their body language is indicating and all that. Sis, it's fine. The thing is, these boys all want to make it back to the villa, so they're all going to be playing their hands this evening. The tricky thing for us girls is to work out if they're just using us to stay in the game, or if they really mean it. If it's coming from the heart, or if they're just chancing it. And here's the thing, I know whether or not Carl was telling the truth just now. Okay, I don't care. (laughs) Are you sure? I get people, babe. Why not just tell me now? Where's the fun in that? Oh, so you're not gonna help us. Plus it's fine, we don't care. And now I still really don't care, to be quite honest. She sighs, suit yourself. Oh, don't get all angry, girl. And to think I've been practicing my best Sherlock impression... Well, let's get back to the others then. Whether Carl is genuine or not, I feel like he's genuine. And second of all, we still have options, so. With the party over, you all make your way back to the bedroom. I better get dressed for a good night's sleep. Okay, we're just gonna put our little... Honestly, I wanna just wear the basic outfit for once. I feel like we never wear it. Pri is the first in the room. She stumbles and bangs into the edge of her bed. Ow. Careful, babe. Where were you to tell me that before I banged my foot? Behind them, Grandma emerges to stop off carrying Marisol on his arms. <laughs> okay. Oi, oi, Kasakura, how are we feeling tonight? Um, I'm feeling a saint up. <laughs> Incredible, everything is amazing. That's how I gets it. Priya suddenly jumps on one of the beds. Someone raced me. What? First one to do a lap around the room using only the beds. The floor is lava. Uh, do I want to race prayer in the bedroom? Let's jump on the bed and get ready. Let's play the game. Let's do this. All right, ladies, ready, set, go. There are Jesus, you and Priya hop from one bed to the next. Felix dives out of the way as the two of you leap wildly over him. Okay, so this is why I stand for Priya. Uh, this is harder than it looks. Like, she's ready to have fun. The soft beds wobble under you with each leap. Oh, dear. But you're used to the exercise and are soon in front of Priya. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm going up against the gym buff. <laughs> Catch us outside. And then you're back where you started, Priya breathlessly catching up. Thotella wins. Two for us, zero for Priya. We still love you, though, girl. Exhausted, you fall into bed. Carl climbs in next to you. What a way to end the night, truly. Who says the night's ended? Oh, dear. Oh, of course. Oh, they gonna get, they gonna get up to some things. Carl was over to you and smiles. Carl seems pretty happy with our chat from earlier. Should I make a move on him? Oh my gosh, pull him in for a kiss. Go for it, make the move, girl. You huddle close to him and pull him towards you. Carl leans in, you take his chin between your fingers and pull him closer. Your lips lock and you feel his tongue against yours. Okay, they're getting lit up in here. You seem to get me like no one else has. What do you mean? Like you listen to me and actually get me. 
And I've never found someone who can kiss as well as you. Kissing used to be awkward, but then we're here. Really how? Like they would go one way and I'd go the other. Or we'd have that awful moment where we accidentally bang our teeth together. Oh no, ouch, you can feel that all the way through your jaw. Yeah, exactly. But with you, it's different. I feel like we just really click, you know? How about you? Um, we are definitely clicking. Like, Carl is a cutie. Exactly. I'm glad you feel the same. Whatever happens in this place, I'm just happy we got to share this time together. Oh, He pulls you in for a hug. You've quickly become very important to me. Carl is, okay, see, I'm really liking Carl. He shoots and scores, ladies and gentlemen. Carl has got the Tella to agree to take him back to the villa. Yes, we're going to take him back. Let's see if she keeps her word. Plot twist. Coming up. The girls have a choice to make. You can't make good decisions with bad hair. And one of the Casamora boys is something a little extra. I can't believe you did that. It's either Felix, I'm assuming Felix. Mm -hmm, Shocking, right? Or Elijah, don't miss it. So that is it. We have had our last little moment. So I believe the next day is like the end of it, wrapping everything up and then going home. So we get to pick the boy, which we all know we're going to pick Carl because he's a cutie pie and he's sweet. And I think we're going to bring him back. I mean, we're not thinking we're doing that, but we're going to see the drama. I hope you guys are ready. But before we go, the shout outs, a big special shout out to Victoria Williams, Julian and Maya Daniel. Thank you so much for your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I'm sorry if I butcher anybody's names, but thank you so much. And thank you to everybody for always watching my videos and supporting especially during this crisis of a time but if you want a chance at a shout out be sure to hit the like button turn on notifications be subscribed and comment something down below and you could be chosen but thank you so much everyone truly it means like everything to me and i hope everybody is doing okay right now but thank you so much again and i can't wait to see the next one bye everyone I'm so, I'm so